All right, take two, Chef AJ. I accidentally deleted the whole broadcast. Like I said, I'm not usually behind the camera. I'm in front of the camera. So welcome again. Please tell me if the orientation is better this time. You guys were saying it was sideways. So hopefully it is correct now so I can show you what I'm having for lunch. So, but first I want to let you know that I'm gonna be performing stand-up comedy. Hi, Beth at the world, I don't know if you can see this, but it's at the World Famous Improv, the newest stars of stand-up on Sunday, August 19th at 7 p.m. If you live local, please come. Oh, hi, Kathy. Oh, we got, uh, hi, Susan. Kathy Hester, world famous chef and cookbook author in the house watching. So, and Kathy loves the air fryer. As a matter of fact, she's been written a great book about it. So yesterday I did uh, russet potatoes and a gentleman wrote me saying he can't have russet potatoes because they're nightshades, which I'll talk about in a minute. Can he do it with sweet potatoes? Absolutely. So just like yesterday, I start with already cooked because that way it's not only more delicious, but for some reason something happens with the caramelization of the sugars or something where it gets even crisper. So this is a Japanese sweet potato and after cooking it weighs about 24 ounces because that's what I need to feel full. I roasted it. I'm going to show you how I roast it in a second after I get this started. But that's what I need for me to feel full. So what I'm going, you, you could do any size you want, but it would, would, it'll fit in the air fryer. So what I do is I cut it in half. It's already been cooked. It's already been chilled. These things taste like cake. If, if you live somewhere that doesn't sell them, you got to move because I don't, um, you sometimes can get them online. I take my clean hand, and even if it was a dirty hand, I'm eating it. It doesn't matter. Even if the hand touched Bailey, it doesn't matter because I'm eating it. And then I smush it down with my hand to get it as flat as I can. And by the way, this works great with the Hannah yams as well, uh, the ones that I love. The, that are this and that are favorite also works with the stokes doesn't really work with the orange ones because they're too mushy so i flatten it as much as i can without it breaking there that almost broke and then i take my go wise air fryer and i put these pieces down like this so you see only one fits but they're smushed down and then i put it in the machine and just like I did yesterday, when you turn it on, you push this little button. It's always going to go to 370. Oh, that's great that you eat yummy sauce, Teresa, with veggies. It's very good. And you know me, I like things really burned. And I have some scientific uh, evidence for you guys since yesterday about how uh, it is not unsafe to use an air fryer. So I'm going to do 22 minutes like I did yesterday. 22 is my lucky number. And then I'm just going to push start. And I'm going to be right back. I'm going to just have you look at these beautiful nectarines for just one second while I get this article from the medical journal that I left in the other room. Well, I don't want to waste time looking for it. I should have brought it. But basically, if you search the medical literature like PubMed, or Medscape, I found an article in the medical literature that air frying was completely safe and if anything, it decreased acrylamides, especially when compared to uh, frying in oil. So I'll find that article so I can show it on the air. Maybe I'll go live tomorrow for Weight Loss Wednesday. Hey Leslie, did you get my email? All right, so while that cooks, I'll just show you what else I'm up to here. So um, I'm gonna be using my Breville as well. And what's cool about the Breville, like I told you yesterday, oh, poor thing, Mary Ellen, you can't find Hannah. Hannah and Japanese are the best. So the one that I put in the air fryer was my last one that was cooked. And so since I eat these every day, I like to batch cook. Now, if I was using my regular oven, then I would do two trays. However, it's over 100 degrees today, so the last thing I want to do is heat up my tiny apartment. So I'm using the Breville because it's also a roaster. So I'm going to put these in, and the, there's six of them here. So. Uh, these are kind of small, so this will probably be three days worth of food for me. I've got four of the Japanese and two of the Stokes. Those are the ones that are dark purple, organic. These are less sweet, so I'm going to put it in, and you just push this button. Well, you can't see it. Uh, maybe if I back up, you can see that it says I have it at 400 for an hour and 15 minutes. So it's on a regular tray. You don't want to roast on the air fryer tray. So that'll take a while. We're not going to wait for that. And since I was also out of my hibiscus tea, 
I uh, made some with this really cool pitcher from Tupperware, which is great for infusing anything from mint to fruit to herbs. So I've got my hibiscus for the week. You know, uh, what I wanted to show you, I've showed you this on several um, other of my YouTubes, but somebody asked me um, how you grill without oil. So I'm gonna show that today too. So I've got this grill from Tupperware. It's really cool where you can actually grill in the microwave and I've showed it on two previous videos. I cannot show it now because when the air fryer is working, I can't have any other uh, things going or it'll blow. So I'm gonna show you how to grill without oil right now. Every time my, I beat, my dogs freak out. Well, sorry about that. So I, what I'm gonna be using are these unbelievable white nectarines. They're the sweetest I've ever seen and tasted. I got them at Costco. They have amazing produce at Costco and I'm gonna grill these. I call them pitch, uh, peaches, but I get them mixed up. There's no fuss, so here we go. So what I'm gonna do is, well, I should probably move this back and first slice them. Uh, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna preheat my grill pan right here. This is from Pampered Chef, and it's got one of these really heavy tops, so you can get the marks on it. We use it for things like zucchini. Um, back in the day, I haven't eaten processed food in about 15 years, but when we did eat veggie, hot dogs, we used to do that. So I'm just gonna slice my peaches, or excuse me, my nectarines, but uh, I get them mixed up. But these are amazing. If you haven't had white nectarines, they're like unbelievable. And so anytime you cook things, whether they're fruits or vegetables, you, they just are so much sweeter and, and absolutely incredible. Uh, so that, that's one way, especially if you're trying to avoid sugar, so we're gonna do that, see how many fit in the pan. And what a great use for this is, of course, you could just eat them. You, if you make banana ice cream, uh, grilled fruit is a great topping. You can also air fry fruit, by the way. And another great use for it would be like on your oatmeal, so you wouldn't have to use any sugar. So I hate to take these away from Charles because he loves them in his lunches, but um, I wanna fill up the whole grill pan. So you're gonna see, and we could put something on it. We could put some cinnamon on it. We could put some cardamom, but um, there's, the truth is, is they're so incredibly sweet and delicious. You really don't need to do anything, but sometimes you get fruit that is less sweet. So cinnamon can help bring out some of that sweetness. So here's the grill pan. You can probably hear the pressure cooker going. And so I'm just gonna place this. If there, if, now some of the pieces are flesh on both sides. Some of it has skin, so skin side up. So I'm just gonna put this in the pan. No butter, no oil, no nonstick spray. Nonstick spray is a scam, by the way. They call it the Pam scam because uh, they say it's for like 1 32nd of a second and it has zero calories. Well, how many people do you know that can uh, do that uh, spray for a 1 32nd of a second? I mean, that's crazy. So I'm just, you can maybe hear the sizzling or maybe not because the air fryer is so loud. Again, I'm using the Go Wise. It's a fabulous one for the money. And the other one I'm using to not air fry, but to roast is the Breville. And I'm hoping to be able to go live tomorrow if Kenny or Ian are available to help me and I'll do a live Weight Loss Wednesday. And I will get you that research article that shows that air frying is, is actually completely safe. Uh, what I wanted to say about the gentleman that wrote me about my demo yesterday, he said that he's avoiding nightshades. And so I wanted to suggest that um, if you're gonna do that, because so many things that are nightshades are absolutely delicious, and in my opinion, essential for health, you know, delicious recipes, you could probably live without them health, you know, healthily. The potatoes, tomatoes, bell pepper, I mean, without that, you know, no red lentil chili, uh, eggplant and, and tomato, uh, eggplant and potato, I think. I think I said them all, maybe I didn't. But, you know, if you have a real diagnosis, you know, from a medical doctor, and they tell you to do an experiment, and you avoid them for a month, and you find out, if you're sensitive, then of course avoid them. But the thing is, just because you can't have one nightshade doesn't mean you can't have all of them. And so you should test them carefully with an elimination diet. But like, listen, I go to a lot of these woo-woo people, you know, and, and I love them. But for medical diagnosis, if somebody just says to you because they did a muscle test on your finger to avoid nightshades, don't because life would be so sad without potatoes, tomatoes, and bell pepper to me. So now I'm gonna take this really heavy top and put it over it and uh, we'll see what happens in just a few minutes. I will now scroll back in time and see if I can catch some of your questions. Because I don't want to keep you here the whole time because it's probably really boring watching nothing. Um, it's not like you can look at me. So I will scroll back. 
Um, Melissa, thank you for saying the orientation is good now. Hello, Yvonne and Allison and Nancy and Patricia, Teresa and Sylvia and Sarah. Oh, Kathy Hester loves peaches. Hi, Deborah. Colleen Dunbar, it says you're a top fan and Jennifer is a top fan. I wonder what that means, and Barbara too. Hi, Amelia, I'm just scrolling. Oh, Sherry had sweet potatoes for lunch, good. Vanessa says yum. It, so Sylvia, I, I'm doing a lot of no recipe recipes now and everybody's saying, oh, the recipe for the roasted garlic uh, Alfredo sauce. And they're not in my book because I'm making them up as I go along. Oh, thanks for sharing, Beth. So no, and this is really isn't a recipe. You just basically slice a potato in half and put it in the air fryer and slice peaches and put it in, in a grill pan. You see, I live in an apartment, so we're not allowed to grill on our patio or even have a grill. So Anne says she needed a reason to move. Hello, Joni. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Teresa eats yummy sauce with veggies every day. Yummy sauce is in my book. It's a good recipe and a very versatile sauce. There's so many variations you could make uh, with one recipe, which is kind of cool. Uh, Kyra never tried them before, so you're in for a treat. Hi, Mary. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Linda. My store never has the names of the yams. So um, then can you go to a store where you have a produce guy that knows something about produce? Because they all have names, but if you can't find one by name, just find one by color. The problem is there are sweet potatoes that are orange on the inside that look like pandas on the outside, and then you pay for them and you get very disappointed because they don't taste as good. Hi, Melody and Carolyn. Thanks for saying you like my videos. Sweet potato with Slovakia goulash. That sounds good, Barbara. What's Slovakia goulash? Okay, so Leslie got my email. Hi, Denise. Uh, Carolyn, the Breville that is is the, the one that costs $3.99, the one that's the air fryer that you can use your 20% coupon. So you use a Japanese sweet potato. Yes, Melody, I did, but I've also done it with a Hannah Yam and a Stokes. Okay. Oh, Brenda, your store was out of Hannah Yams. That should be a prime. Donna, I do not reheat my sweet potatoes because I'm putting them in the air fryer. However, I cook always my sweet potatoes and uh, I roast my sweet potatoes first for best flavor. With the, uh, if I'm using a, a russet, I just microwave it. I don't find roasting makes that much difference. Um, let's see, okay, where am I? Hello, Beth. Yes, Sherry's saying she gets JSPs at the Asian market. That's where I often find them, is at the Asian market and the Latino market. Courtney, I don't know what the picture's called, but I think it's the only infusion, infusion, infusion picture that Tupperware has. And if you can't hear anything, it's you. Put on some headphones or try a different device. Yes, Whole Foods generally has Japanese and Hannah. Oh, watching me from Austria, Nikki, that's amazing. Uh, Leslie says she can't wait for Vegas. Leslie's actually speaking with her sisters. So if you can't come to Vegas, consider the live stream. Tomorrow is the last day to save $100. And last year, everybody wanted it after that price was on. So let's take a look at these peaches and see how they're looking. Or nectarines, sorry, I keep saying nectarines. So, oh, that looks amazing. Oh, yeah, OMG, caramelizing without sugar. Look at that, you guys. Oh, the thing is, I'm not gonna eat my fruit until I eat my potato. Look at that, beautiful. So Pampered Chef, I think, is a really good line and everything pretty much has a lifetime guarantee. Um, if you're making like a vegan French toast, this could be great to go with. You know, caramelizing fruit in any way that you can, that you don't need sugar. You know, the problem with dried fruit, guys, is it's 1,300 calories per pound, and uh, that's pretty calorically dense, and it's got the water removed. So we'll just put the top on just for another minute to get the other side, whoops, with the grill marks, and uh, I'll scroll through more of your questions. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the PAM scan, that's a real thing. Okay. Watching from Columbus, I love Ohio. People are so friendly. It's a Pampered Chef grill pan, and I don't know what the material is, and I'm, I really don't worry about that. You know, one day I'll just do a video about majoring in minor things. I can understand if you have cancer, um, but you know what? I've eaten an A-plus diet for how many years now? 10 years, and a, an A-minus diet for 15, and if God is gonna take me because I used the wrong pan, or because I didn't, cut the onion the right way or because I didn't put nuts in my salad dressing to absorb the nutrients, then so be it. But I have a feeling I'm going to live even longer than Dr. Goldhammer and Lyle to 120 doing all these things that other people are constantly criticizing. It's the food, it's the food, it's the food. It's not the pan, it's not the cooking method, it's not the, you know, this minutia that people worry about getting these 12 things in a day. 
eat a whole food plant-based diet, do the left of the red line, avoid sugar, oil, flour, alcohol, and salt, and have a nice day, and don't worry. Uh, yeah, they make blanket shades about nightshades. You know, they blame nightshades, just like the other guy is blaming lectins. You're salivating, me too. Uh, so I'll show it to you when it's done. Um, yeah, so that's Sue says she can tolerate some of the nightshades and others. Just because you can't have one doesn't mean you can't have all. Do I feel that the recipes in my new book are more refined than unprocessed? No, absolutely not. And less, if anything. Uh, what do you use on the grill pan, veggie? I don't use anything on the grill pan. Thank you for saying you love unprocessed. Uh, Cindy, uh, Cindy, I can't really read without glasses. Uh, it's still a good book if you don't have it. Uh, okay. Oh, you're a top fan. Well, thank you. Maybe because you comment. Yeah, well, get a new nutritionist, Debbie. Yeah, really? that you'll gain weight from eating potatoes. Okay, then how come the longest lived people in the world are the Okinawans and they eat like 69% of their calories from the most uh, sweetest ones of all, which are the Hawaiians. So yeah, I would get a different nutritionist. So we're still going on the air frying here. Oops, I opened it, I should have showed it to you. So let's turn the heat off now and start putting this on a plate. Oh, baby, baby, yeah. Any, any nutritionist, that tells you not to eat sweet potatoes, run. They're the healthiest food on the planet and the most satisfying. Potatoes are the most satiating food in the world. I didn't need such a big plate, but it is what it is. This is gonna be a real treat. I might have to eat it before my potato because I like to eat it hot. But this is gonna be amazing. And it really doesn't need anything. If I was gonna put anything, I put some maybe some cinnamon but it really won't need anything and banana ice cream with this would be amazing to put hot fruit hot grilled fruit over banana ice cream so um, this will clean up nice and easy we'll take this off the heat for now and doesn't that look absolutely amazing so i'll let it go for a little longer if you guys have more questions i'll hang around until my lunch is ready let's see what other questions you guys have yeah, way too high in sugar, gain weight. Yeah, you don't gain weight eating potatoes. That's how you lose weight. You cannot gain weight eating a food that's 350 calories per pound. It is absolutely impossible. Can you step away from the loud air fryer? I can't hear that well. Well, I don't know where I'll go, so hmm, where can I stand? I can step away a little bit, I suppose, and we can just look at the peaches, but I'm using a tripod. Uh, -bum -bum -bum. I don't found this here. Happy you found it. Jim, Jamelia, I hope I'm pronouncing your names right. You started living in an RV full time. The Breville would be awesome. Yes, it would. Hi, Sharon. Have you tried grilling fruit? Have any of you tried grilling fruit? It's amazing. Yeah, apples would work good. And also, if like fruit is starting to go bad, oh, oh my God, plantains, amazing. Grilled or in the air fryer. Make sure they're ripe. So, yeah, this is just like when they start getting a little too soft, this is a great thing to do. Would it work on a George Foreman grill? I have no idea. You could always try one. I don't know where you find things in your town, guys, because I live in California. Why don't you use Google and look online? Um, or ask your Asian or Latino or other ethnic markets if you have it. Okay. Yeah, Pampered Chef is good. The Japanese yam have more glycemic effect than sweet potatoes? Don't know, don't care, don't think it's important unless you just eat one food at a time. Uh, then, um, you know, Dr. McDougall talks about Jenkins, I think is his name, is it David Jenkins or whoever invented the glycemic index? Listen, you don't, most people don't just eat one food. It's the glycemic load that matters. So like if we eat potatoes, we're eating with beans and corn or vegetables. So for example, if you really believe in the glycemic index, you would never eat a carrot because a carrot has a higher glycemic index than haagen ice cream. So um, I don't know. And it, uh, for me, it doesn't matter because like I said, I don't worry about those little things. I worry about the big picture eating fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes without the addition of the chemicals like the animal products, sugar, oil, flour, alcohol, and salt. What do you cook on the grill pan? You cook anything on the grill pan. Whatever you would cook on a grill, Anne-Marie, that's, I mean, obviously I don't cook animal products, but anything, vegetables, fruits, you know, processed vegan meats, um, but for me it's vegetables and fruits. I like zucchini. Are the JSP, I, they're not gonna probably, I don't know, maybe they'll be eaten together, uh, Colleen, that does sound like very, very sweet though. Uh, Sharon is saying to put frozen Japanese sweet potatoes in your banana ice cream. Yes, I've done that, it's amazing. That's how Hugo's uh, serves their ice cream. And come to Vegas to see Sharon McRae speak and uh, buy the live stream if you're not coming. 
peaches look amazing. You love watching me cook. Thank you, Linda. Yes, pineapple is awesome grill, Vicki, especially on banana ice cream sprinkled with a little uh, unsweetened coconut, which you can get low fat, so that's great. Um, I'm just scrolling down. What air fry brands do you recommend? I recommend uh, this Go Wise here, and I also recommend the Revel, which is over here. So let's see what else we can do. They're technically nectarines, so... Oh, I've never grilled cherries because they're so small. Joni says she loves me. Keep telling it like it is. Yeah, I had a session with Dr. Lyle today, and he said maybe I shouldn't do that so much. But, hey, I am who I am. I, I mean, it's not my fault I was born in Aries. Double Aries, actually. What a curse. You know, that's a double bitch. You know, and Moon is in Aquarius, which makes me a humanitarian. I'm going to make some, uh, Teresa's going to make this her two-year-old grandson. Yes, he will love it. Bobby's saying, thanks for suggesting Hawaiian sweet potatoes. He loves the Japanese. Are there other sweet potatoes that we should know about? I love all sweet potatoes. Believe it or not, the orange are my least favorite, the ones I use for mashed potatoes or mashed sweet potatoes. So in my rotation are the Hannah, the Japanese, the Stokes, and the Hawaiian. A double Aries means that I was born under the astrological sign of Aries, and my rising sign is in Aries, and my moon is in Aquarius. Okay, well, that's getting to be towards the end of the comments. So let me see how this is looking. So you can see, oh, look, guys, it's ready. It's toast. Doesn't that look incredible? I'll hang out for a few more seconds if you have any questions. But the thing is, is when you cook it like this, the way I showed you, um, roasting it, refrigerating it, smashing it, um, it ends up tasting like toast. It's so crunchy, and it has that texture that you miss when you can't have bread. I think there was a question on what is my favorite no-salt seasoning. I will show that to you right now, and it is right here. These are all my salt-free seasonings. There's some up there. So my favorite is Benson's Table Tasty. Uh, it tastes the most like salt, but she has a new flavor now, roasted garlic, that she's supposed to debut with the Live Ultimate Weight Loss Conference, which if you haven't uh, bought a ticket, you can still come. We have some tickets. The hotel may not have rooms, though, but please consider getting the live stream. Um, can't handle the orange sweet potatoes, most of Japanese. So, yeah, so that's it. Yeah, gross counter. Okay, so here's the thing. You make a comment. I'll let you pass this one time, Carol, but uh, any negative comments not only get deleted, but you get removed from my page. So I'll let you have this one as a warning. As I mentioned, I live in an apartment. I can't do anything about it. If you don't like it, Carol, don't watch my videos. There's 2,000 stations on cable right now you could be watching. Okay? Bye-bye. All right, guys. Well, thanks to the rest of you for being kind and supportive. And I'm doing exactly the opposite of what Dr. Lyle said to do which was not to, uh, not to, um, I'm not going to say what he said, to call the people that did make negative comments, but he said not to do any knowledge them. So anyway, I'm learning. It still has four minutes on it. Kathy Hester, if you're still on, how do I make it stop? Do I just push this button? Does that stop? I never read the book. So that's it. That's my lunch. Batch cook. You'll be able. Somebody bought the live stream. Thanks, Shelly. You're so welcome for my time, Carla. Uh, Yes, Eileen, you cannot find it on Amazon yet because she has not released it yet. So, anyway, so guys, thank you so much. Hopefully, oh, all right, I think it did stop it. All right, it's time to eat. So don't don't throw in any of that fruit if it starts to get mushy. Always grill your peaches. Okay, bye guys.